Hey, Bastish B here for 64K and welcome to another episode of New Retro. And if you've never watched this show before, I take a look at a new game released on a retro system. And we also look at the game that might have inspired it. And today's games are... Cockatoni Wolf was released by Elite on the Commodore 64 in 1984. And a new C64 release called Legend of Wolf was released in 2024 by Hazemaker64. Welcome to New Retro episode number 39. And let's first take a look at the Inspiration game. Cockatoni Wolf was released by Elite in 1984 on the Commodore 64, a flip screen styled arcade action game that has you as the winged hero Wolf who gets sent through time to collect pieces of a talisman spread throughout history. It's needed to be assembled by the wizard Ulrich who sends you on your quest. Its ultimate use is to subdue a dragon that is about to be reawakened. The game was coded by Neil Bate who worked on many games at Elite including Airwolf and Paperboy. The game was described back in the day as Jet Set Willy with wings and honestly that's a pretty accurate assessment. You have no defenses. You can only try to avoid enemies all the while picking up pieces of the talisman. Collect enough of those and a warp gate opens and sends you off to the next time period. There's six of them in all with prehistoric BC, 960 AD, 1706, 1984 and a whole bunch more, each with its own look and enemies to avoid. There are over 60 plus screens in the game and it provides you with quite a challenge as touching almost anything in this game kills you instantly. But with practice though you can get pretty good at it. There is no time limit so taking it slow always wins the race. If you have no patience though you're basically gonna die very quickly. Graphics had a spectrum vibe to them. A combination of high res and sprite work without the color clash. It's pretty odd looking for a C64 game but it has its charms. And the levels do vary quite a lot visually from one to another. The music though is pretty bizarre. Using stolen tunes from the movie Oliver, the Beatles back catalogue of music Music and a whole lot more. It's a copyright minefield that Elite somehow got away with. Yay 80s. It's not a perfect game by any sense but all these strange pieces do come together to make a pretty unforgettable piece of 8-bit gaming. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Ghostbusters! <laughs> Well, there's something you don't see every day. We came, we saw, we kicked it. And now let's take a look at the new retro game. Legend of Wolf was released on the C64 at the end of March 2024, coded by Hazemaker64. This is his second game after giving us the pretty cool part of the Game & Watch Mario Cement Factory a few years ago on the C64. Legend of Wolf is basically a remake of Cockatoni Wolf, with a whole bunch of its own originality thrown in there as well. It has the exact same plot as the original game, with you taking on the role of Wolf and jumping through time and collecting all those talisman pieces. The game now features most notably a much more Commodore 64 look to it, with big chunky graphics and a more varied colour scheme and looks much more like a Commodore game with smooth animation and flip screen action. It also feels a bit easier, as you can control your flying with simply the controller directions and use the fire button to fly as well, giving slightly more precise controls over the original. Some of the levels are screen for screen the same as the original, with others being a bit more of a loose interpretation and a bunch of new aspects. So if you're a fan of the original, it still feels like something new. It also features slightly better versions of the copyrighted music and has multiple options for music, sound effects or a combination of both. If you're simply terrible at this game it also has a built in cheat system for infinite lives and level skips. This is quite a fun updated version of the original. It plays a bit better and some of the rough spots have been ironed out for an overall better experience and I'll leave links in the video description to download the game which is free or name your own price. And that's the end of the show. Thank you for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. And if you can please like and subscribe, that'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.